up? Welcome to another video upload for 187th time with Aspie with Attitude. If you're watching this for the first time, my name is David. I'm from Melbourne, Australia. I have autism, speech difficulty, speech impairment, a speech impairment, have Asperger syndrome, and that's why I call myself an Aspie. So, I want to get into this video content right now because this is something that I've done more than three years ago, way back on the 2nd of June, 2018. I said this for episode number four, Resisting Change. This is a very old video upload, and I've just felt like we're making this video upload, Resisting Change, focusing much more intention that change can be a great thing. If you had to watch my introduction and the artwork, since I felt like creating an old Wild Western theme to it, well, I'm going to change my hat if you don't mind. So I'm just going to be back in a sec. Well, I'll be back in front of the camera then. Yeah, I'm just back once again, like I just couldn't do the fishing spin nose trick with this hat on. Since I'm wearing that cowboy's hat, that I've put this from Fort Worth in Texas when I went on a holiday to the USA back in April 2017 after when I stayed in Dallas for a few days in Texas. Well, since I love wearing my trademark tracksuit license, I've got a color hoodie and the Arizona pants on. Anyway, how cool is this for change? Please let me know down in the comments down below if you really like the cowboy hat and this is why I'll be dressed on this couch. To get on with this video content, I had once said back in episode four on the 2nd of June, 2018, that change does affect an individual who's autistic. And this has always lived up to reputation being a meltdown trigger and also could cause autistic burnouts. So like, as it happens, changes are always unpredictable and always full of surprises, especially for autistic individuals who are more comfortable with the sameness and sticking with the same routines, just like I had discussed back in episode 144, when I talked about repeat behavior and the sameness and the routines. Because staying with the same routines is more predictable and at times, nothing's ever gonna really stay the same. Well, I had came a long way from when I first uploaded episode four back on the 2nd of June, 2018, and I have experienced so many changes that affected the course of my life and to this YouTube channel, Aspie with Attitude. This was only 12 months ago with the COVID-19 pandemic in Melbourne, changes had allowed me to work on a different temporary lifestyle, living out in a country to escape one of the world's strictest lockdown laws that lasted for six weeks in Melbourne, Australia. And the lockdown laws were very light and the country compares to being a city in the state of Victoria in Australia. After once this was all over, we had an array of snap lockdowns that had caused many changes in my plans and my schedules that I had. At a time when I was making this video upload, we were in the fifth COVID-19 lockdown after we had the free removalists from Sydney spreading the germs into our city that actually ruined my schedule of me doing a walk with me video. And apart from that, even the channel keeps changing all the time, even without the coronavirus those changes, most of them had been a very good thing, meaning that most changes can be better than what we think it will be. Changes had the positives and the negatives towards it, and the changes I make in this channel is supposed to improve more of my video uploads. Otherwise, things appear almost the same as it did back on the 2nd of June 2018 when I talked about resisting change for episode four. And this video upload you're watching now was published on the 18th of July, 2021. 
and this had gone a long way since the 2nd of June 2018. Considering that I had found structure with this channel that will never change, and one thing I hate to change with this channel is the tracksuits that I actually wear in the majority of my video uploads, like I'm wearing the Arizona Sun Devils pants and the Colorado State University hoodie. So with these style of tracksuits here, like I loved wearing clothes like this when I was 11 years old, when we did own a video camera way back in 1991, just making all our family videos, which I hope to copy from VHS onto MP4 and maybe one day publish most of it on YouTube. So like, at a time when I wore tracksuits like this in front of a family video camera, I did feel less irritated being filmed when wearing tracksuits like that. And that's something that's never really changed about me. Anyway, apart from that, I hope I come up with even better ideas since I'll just let the channel evolve. And what I mean by evolve is just another word for change. I'm talking about positive changes is when things do evolve. As it happens, every brand new day are new changes. It could be for the best or for the worse, for the positive and the negative, and some changes are always minor, and most other changes could rather be major, just in one blink of an eye. Sometimes it could be pleasant, and other times it could be irritating. It could be a meltdown trigger or burnout trigger for any autistics who can't cope with any changes and just want to resist change. The best idea for change is, it's always best for us that we need to be ready for changes since they could be very unpredictable and very surprising. We can't always predict how those changes would, could or should affect us and how it's gonna impact on us. Continual sameness are the roots for any individuals to resist change, as I had explained back in episode four. And if you've seen episode 144, this is why I talk about repeat behavior and just how people on the autism spectrum like to do the same things and stick with the sameness. And we do take many shape shiftings and it takes a lot of adjusting to find balance in those changes. And sometimes, once you find a balance, there's always new changes. It's always a bit of a life saga, having to shape shift and change phases all the time. And I'm even lucky to have this lifestyle for the last three years that I can continue on with the changes since it's expected at all times. And if you like these video contents, you can always subscribe to my YouTube channel Aspie of Attitude. And also there's always a notification bell to see what changes that may occur in my video channels. And also you can like and share this video content with your friends, with your family, and any other autistic groups. And before I like to actually sign out of this video content, please even look back in the old videos, especially how I've been going on about the one that I did back on 2nd of June 2018, just to observe different changes, which is often that it will be the tablecloths I use on the side table and the color of the couch and everything like that. I'll basically go like, I'm always gonna keep wearing these same clothes all the time. And please expect this fidget spinner to fall off my nose for this one. And Thanks for watching, thanks for listening. Let me know in the comments that I should actually keep wearing this cowboy's hat. Peace and respect, and see you next time from Aspie with Attitude.